or even legal, but perhaps ethical nature of your, you know, price your patent jacking. You say, patent look at what's patent else? jacking. You say, yeah, I like it. I think, I think it fits you. Well, I don't have, there's a right. patent on it. Don't interrupt me, please. If, uh, <laughs> I actually work in my community. So, uh, the, uh, so you say other people are doing it worse, right? I mean, this seems like to me like kindergarten, like logic, right? It's just like, you know, I mean, no, I, I, you know, I was, uh, I was doing something bad, mom, but everybody else was doing it, and I was doing it nearly as much as those other kids. So my, you know, and that seems to be your recurring defense whenever someone raises an ethical problem about your, 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 your price jacking, your patent jacking. I mean, I've read all, before coming to this research. I didn't really know who you are, you know, before be, before we heard all the buzz about this event, right? But 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 when I but um, but I read up on you, and a lot of doctors, you know, uh, and a lot of experts were saying that despite your claims that you made it possible for people to get your pills for free, people died because of the price hike. Now you can blame it on the insurance companies and the bureaucracy, but when you're dealing with underprivileged people who don't have the money or even the don't speak English. You put up extra hurdles, right, for people getting something they need to live. It seems logical that some of them may die, right? And that's what a lot of the experts say. So my question is to you: Is have you done hard research on how many people have died as a result of your action? And and I, and I want to propose this to the whole to the whole group. Actually, uh, the argument that everyone's doing it doesn't doesn't accept the individual, but also we can hate both the game and the player. And then, so my, my final question is. Um, why do we need people like you in the system? Why couldn't we run it publicly? You, you clearly have made the system work for yourself, but what have you done for actual human beings what? on this planet besides profit from the system? See that we can all imagine, we all know it's fucked up. That's right. it. Thank you. Did you see the... I don't know if you were listening either. I, I, I wonder if you were listening. This, uh... Could you send it to me? I was late, I was outside protesting. Oh, good job. <laughs> really? I, 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 that, that seems strange to me that you would, you would not listen to the presentation, but you, you could criticize it. I asked a question based on what I heard. Well, you sound pretty critical. Um, this is a. I don't, do you have any U.S. patents? Not yet, no. Have you filed for U.S. patent? Uh, no, I have not. Yet. Yeah, so, so this drug is going to save. This startup for a second. I was quiet while you, you talked. This drug is going to save 5,000 kids' lives. Okay? So you ask me what I've done for healthcare? I've done about 15 of these. What have you done for healthcare? Uh, I, I mentioned that my drug, Daraprim, nobody's died from it. Why? Because you don't understand healthcare. If you look at this drug, and again, I understand that this is a big chart with a lot of numbers, and it requires you to think a little bit, but this is the second person in the room who won't think about it. Daraprim is the cheapest. Drug, second cheapest drug on this list. And not only that, what's the list? It's last time I heard you say You're shaking your head. The number was 65,000 the last time I watched the video with it, so now it's down to 20,000. No, it's the same thing. It's just you, you have to appreciate subtlety and nuance. It's okay, an so important thing. But this, please, please, quiet down now. Uh, the, uh, the, the list price of the drug is $75,000. If you take 40 pills, it's roughly $60,000, the price that you're familiar with. The net price of the drug, net of all giveaways, two thirds of our drug is given away, is two hundred fifty dollars, which is an adjusted price of twenty thousand dollars. You have to think about both contexts. I don't interrupt you in your in your speech. How many couldn't get it because of the zero, my friend? Because if you if you, if you stop for a second and think, which I implore you to think with your brain instead of your heart, uh, the the drugs that cost millions of dollars. I'm not saying that these guys are bad guys. I think these guys are heroes. They're heroes. They've saved lives too. But if you're plain, because I think you're also misunderstanding the so-called kindergarten argument. I'm not making that argument. You want me to make that point. You want me to make, don't you dare interrupt. You want me to make that argument. Let me finish. Okay, Joshua. What do you got here? Your favorite I just want to be able to finish my point. Yeah, well, Does it look like I'm afraid of criticism? I have a big stance on the kindergarten argument. I didn't necessarily Let me, see you were making it, right? So I'll just talk you on that. Your, your allegation that that I think that these other companies are doing it and therefore what I'm doing it, it is less bad is unfounded. I don't think that these companies are doing a bad thing in the first place. Uh, the point I'm making is that if you're making an access argument and you're trying to say that people can't get it or people are dying, which is a flamboyant, excessively crazy thing to say, by the way, because of a price consideration. 
But you haven't examined reality. You haven't taken the time to deal with the real world because your heart is begging you to, to, to you're imploring yourself to take a stand and have some moral superiority, but you don't want to stop and think. You don't want to stop and look at this list because it crushes you. It crushes your argument. And it's sad to you that, that you're wrong. Because if you look at this list and you spend 30 seconds thinking, you'll see that Darabin is $20,000 lifetime cost. There are drugs that are in the millions. The access argument, it's not shaming the million dollar drugs. They're fine. The point is that if you think people can't get their room at $20,000, why are there, are, aren't there unending reports of people who can't get these other drugs? The answer is because we have a system that works. The answer is because they do get the drugs, and you're just wrong. And it's okay to be wrong sometimes. But don't let your emotions overwhelm your, your ability to think. So are you contending that people in the United States don't die by the thousands as a result of lacking access to healthcare, including pharmaceuticals. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a CEO of two large drug companies. I would have a little bit of uh, knowledge on the subject. Google that. You know better than I do? What do you do for a living? No, man, you know, that's a good talk after. All right, I, I'm, I'm a pharmaceutical entrepreneur. I started two drug companies. You still die when you have all that money, you know, right? Yeah, yeah sure. But he gets to listen to Wu Tang. The point is, I'm not bragging on you. The point is, I'm telling you that I know the drug business. I love it. I've done it my whole life. So I don't know what a professor knows more than I do about how I'm doing this. You teach for a living. Can I ask you a charitable question? Like, literally, if there wasn't money, millions of dollars in it, would you still devote your life to trying to find uh, yeah, scientists? Yeah, scientists. Okay. You would. I actually believe that's true. As, as someone who works at a public university, right? And I, there's nothing about I, I, I believe that the greatest breakthroughs in science and yeah. elsewhere come through. Are you actually professor? My question is, you should be a man. You know, they say those who can't do teach. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think that, I, you know, if, if, if you. You know, why don't you try to start a drug company? Look at how easy it is to make these medicines. Look at how easy it is to make a price. It, it's really hard, and it's insulting when you come here and cast. You know, in, I, I think that for your students and for this university for employing me. Because at the end of the day, a, a good professor knows not to talk about things that he doesn't know about. I, know. Now, I, don't, I don't go and teach classes in French or in Japanese or on American history. I know pharmaceuticals like the back of my hand better than anyone. You? What do you know? What do you need to teach? All right, we got, we got to wrap it up. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>